So this is the infamous Chrisman house. This is the Woodward house that everyone knows of in Ventura. Cause this was like the house that all of the misfit children of Ventura County used to hang out at. The corner house where that blue truck is pulling out of, it was like this Hispanic family and they had the craziest pit bull that lived in the backyard that used to try to eat you every time you went into our backyard. It was crazy aggressive. But um, they had all these, they were like the crazy cat lady people. Do you remember that? I had millions of cats. There was like, they had all these stray cats and all these stray Siamese cats. She used cats. to feed them on the porch and that whole entire dirt lot in the front yard used to be covered in cats when it was dinner time. It was like totally fucking like something out of Pet cemetery. It was totally crazy. And then that back garage behind the Christman house, that's where, no, 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 over here where the black truck is. Yeah. Oh, that's the garage that used to be Dave's garage and then my stepdad. And then when I lived here with Derek, Donovan's father, we used to rent it out to Blaine. And even our cousin Andrea, her husband Jim, used to live in the back room here at one point in time. After Derek and I split, he rented out a room. But look, this the, Look, the weather's changed so much that Ventura, you have to have air conditioners in the windows now. Oh, wow. Yeah, it didn't used to be like that. When we were kids, the weather here was never hot. The weather has changed so yeah, much. Yeah, it didn't used to be humid. We didn't get like this kind of humidity. humidity. I don't remember, like we didn't have, we no never used, used no air, ever air, air conditioner. No, we didn't, we didn't have air conditioners. We had heaters oh, yeah. and that was what we used. And this particular house, it was a floor heater. Do you remember that in the living yeah. room? It was a floor heater, so we used to stand over it all the time. You couldn't walk on it, but we used to stand on it all the time because it would blow up. Um, trying to turn around, sorry, with my 50 point turn without hitting their car. But this is where Donovan was actually born. And in the front house, in front of this window, if you turn and look, where that bush is, the, with the white flowers underneath the window sill, that didn't used to be there. There were bushes all around in that area, but that was actually where we um, planted Donovan's placenta. And we kept the placenta in the freezer until six months later when Cassidy was born. And then we planted the placentas together. But this is where Donovan was born. He was born in the bedroom in this house, my bedroom. And um, yeah, this is the infamous 372 uh, Christmas. Wow. 6433106. That was our phone number. Was that our phone number? <laughs> Shit, I'm like, what is that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> but this was the that was this was the infamous house. Basically, um, during our high school career, this is where all the kids used to come was to this house, and it was notorious because my mom did Renaissance fairs, so she was always gone all the time. And if she wasn't doing fairs, she was in LA with my stepdad at his place visiting him, or she was at school or work. So she was rarely home. So it was like a house of four teenagers basically raising themselves and doing whatever the hell they wanted. So this was the house where all the kids used to hang out. And um, this was the stomping ground. And we used to have a bonfire in the backyard because it was a really big backyard. And we were notorious for throwing different parties and stuff. And there was even a um, shed almost in the back that we converted into an art studio. And that was like the pottery room. And I had old vinyls and I used to play old vinyl records back there. And we used to have bonfires and hang out and drink 40s of Mickey's from the liquor store right around the corner. Do you remember that? Mm hmm But this was, the, this was the infamous house. This is the house when people talk about hanging out with the Woodward kids. That's the house that they more than likely knew. And then if you go up the street, where? We go to Thompson Boulevard. On the corner here, this used to be Hungry Howie's pizza place. Oh, yeah. So we used to go there. And then it was the burger joint. It was. There was a burger joint there that had the best peanut butter, banana, strawberry shakes known to mankind. But if you walked around the corner here, where was it? There was um, a, keep going. There was a maternity home for young women having babies on their own. And right next door to it was an abortion clinic. Right here. This, this plot of land used to be an abortion clinic. It's been torn down. That used to be the abortion clinic. And then right over there was the maternity home for yeah, young right pregnant mothers. <laughs> <laughs> the 
That was but, the maternity home. But now they're just houses. And then here's the crack motels. And then these is the list. Lots of prostitutes went there. Yes, you could rent them by the week or by the oh, hour. And then that was the gay club. That Incognigos. was. Incognigos. It used to be called Incognigos. That's that was a right. Gay club. And then another crack motel. And then the liquor store. So we used to have to walk past this as kids. And I got mistaken for prostitute before. With my all of skateboard. Us Most with of my us. skateboard. I'd be like, no, never mind. Because all the prostitutes used to hang out out there. So that was actually very notorious that you would get approached like cars would pull up next to you and stop and try to ask how much it was and you just kind of like flipped them off and you'd keep going <laughs> but like literally it was a maternity home an abortion clinic with people protesting out front and then crack hotels with prostitutes and then there was the liquor store where we used to go get booze but it was totally ironically fucking hilarious and then this is Hearst Avenue which is literally right around the corner from where the Chrisman house was walking distance that was that's the house right there and then this yellow house to the left right here Mike this whole property right here this is it that's the porch there's a picture of mom sitting on that porch this property right here this corner lot my grandfather used to own it and my this is where my parents lived with Heather and Nathan and this is where I was born and my placenta is buried somewhere out by these railroad tracks out here. But this is where I was born. All of us kids, my dad was an EMT. So he was a paramedic for like 10 years of my early childhood. So and my parents were total hippies. And my mother used to teach Braxton Hicks. And so they apparently didn't believe that you needed a midwife or you didn't need doctors and stuff like that. They were very organic. And so my father delivered all of us at home. They didn't have, they just basically, my mom got pregnant, she took care of herself, and then my dad would deliver all of us kids. So all of us kids were born at home um, by my father. And then a couple of our cousins actually, dad actually delivered. Um, but that was very common. My then family, if you go down here, what street is this? This is Ocean Avenue. And so right around the corner, this all wraps back around, but this is Ocean Avenue. Um, or what was it? Ocean Avenue Punks, OAP. Uh, that, was that? that was a thing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was an actual thing. Um, but this is where I met Derek, Donovan's dad. And this is where Donovan was conceived. And it's, which house is it? I don't even know. Is it that one? I think it's this one. Yeah, because the half pipe used to be back there all that Yes, crosses. there was a half pipe in the Isn't back. Is it condemned? There's like a sign on the window. I don't know. Maybe they're remodeling. But this was Derek's house. This is where he lived. He was like the popular skater boy kid. And there was a half pipe in the back. There was always skater boys here. This is Donovan, where Donovan's dad lived. And he used to rent out different rooms and the couch to all the different skater kids that would come in. And this is where Donovan was actually conceived. November 11th, actually, of 1994. Um, I know the date I can see my child. Isn't that creepy? Mm -hmm. um, but that's where Donovan was made, and that's where his father lived. And so he literally lived right around the corner from my house. And so it made it very difficult for him to avoid me after we broke up. But he didn't move far. When he decided to move in with me and we decided to be a family, he literally just skated his stuff over. That's how close he lived. That was his transportation. He used to have two different dogs, and they used to pull him on a skateboard around town. That was back when Derek was fun. There's the playground, and then there's like a big old canal, and then right over that, that is this, the, the, um, Christman house. the Christman house. So we used to hop this fence and then cross over somewhere. I forget where. We used to cross over and just oh, right walk there. right there. And right then there. We would, yeah, that end right there. We used to cross over and then walk up the hill yeah. through the city yard. And then there was our house right there at the corner, yeah. top right up there. there. So that was how we went over. And because everyone was always drinking and partying over at Derek's house. Um, so that was kind of like the hangout spot. But I don't know. Derek used to be funny. Didn't always use a grumpy old man and he didn't used to always be so uptight um back when we were kids he was very lighthearted, very very funny he was like the funny guy he was the comedian in the group um just always cracking jokes and just super funny but he used to be really i don't know he was just a lot more lighthearted. now he's very grumpy and uptight and just like, seems